Harvard Business School, HBS, is arguably the strongest global brand among MBA programs and thus a dream school for the almost 10,000 professionals who apply annually. So, one question, right? How do you get in? Hi, I'm Jeremy Scheinwald, founder of MBA Mission. And in the last 20 years, we've helped thousands of applicants get in the top MBA programs. And we have several consultants on our team who've helped hundreds individually. In this video, we're gonna share what we've learned about how you can be your most competitive HBS applicant. First, we're gonna discuss what makes an HBS applicant stand out from an ultra competitive pool. Then, we're gonna talk about how you can write an essay that captures the imagination of the HBS admissions committee. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video when we'll share some resources that'll be useful to you when you apply to HBS. Okay, let's get started. What makes an HBS applicant stand out? HBS produced Sheryl Sandberg, Mike Bloomberg, Mitt Romney, and many other household names. Is HBS expecting you to prove through your application that you're ready to add your name to that auspicious list? Of course not. HBS isn't expecting its applicants to have already performed spectacular feats unknown to humanity, but is instead expecting that you have shown, as they say at HBS, a habit of leadership. They want to know that you've created opportunities for yourself and others and have had consistent organizational or personal impact in your workplace and community and even your personal endeavors. It's these habits that accumulate and make an impression on the admissions committee. So ask yourself, can you reveal that habit in your resume, recommendations, and short answer responses? If you can't yet do so, then you need to think about areas where you might develop and push yourself in that direction. Showing that habit is critical for any successful applicant. It's somewhat ironic that that habit should come out strongly in your resume, short answer responses, and especially in your recommendations, where others can speak to it more directly than you can but you shouldn't feel compelled to discuss your leadership in your essays. Instead, your essay is an opportunity for you to share your authentic values and the evolution of those values. And if your leadership comes out naturally through those stories, then that is fantastic, but you shouldn't force it. Let's talk about part two, how you write an essay that captures the imagination of the admissions committee. HBS only asks applicants to write one essay, and that essay is, as we review your application, what more would you like us to know as we consider your candidacy for the Harvard Business School MBA program? No word limit. The key word in this essay prompt is more. What more would you like us to know? As you write your essay, think about what the admissions committee would learn about you if they had just read your application without an essay. What are they learning about you through your resume, short answers, recommendations? What else would they need to learn about you to get a picture of you as a complete individual? Take a step back and really reflect on that. What could you offer to complete that picture of you? How can you show them who you are and what you stand for as a person? Let's briefly consider three essay approaches through which you might share these values. Many applicants discuss inflection points in their lives, showing the accomplishments, even the stumbles that have shaped them on their journeys and that have made them who they are today. This is a great way for most applicants to work within a loose structure and play to their strengths. But applicants should be very careful not to inadvertently end up at a lengthy and potentially boring biography. Others might share a theme that's manifest in their lives, a clear driving force that defines and motivates you in everything you do. So as an example, maybe your life has been defined by a fight for personal freedom. If this is the case, you can't just string together three anecdotes and then foist that theme on the reader. You still have to share an authentic narrative that reveals this theme to be incontrovertible and true. Finally, you might consider sharing a single accomplishment, one that's so powerful that it speaks for your personality and experiences. Few take this approach, but if you have one outstanding example from your life that really reveals a variety of your values, it can actually be remarkably powerful. As you write, you may be thinking to yourself, no word limit, really? Well, we can give you some guidance. 1,000 to 1,250 words feels about right. Try not to go under 800, try not to go over 1,500. Writing about 3,000 words gets kind of aggressive or rude. Remember, you're asking the admissions committee for their time. Be polite, be respectful. Last, must you discuss your goals and why HBS? Well, it isn't asked in the question, and the vast majority of applicants never address this in their essay, and that's just fine. 
we rarely advise that applicants write about their goals. So if you feel that you're forcing this into your essay, you likely are. And great essays are often ruined by some cloying attempt to connect the applicant's life purpose to HBS. Please be very careful to just write with authenticity. Share your walk through life, share you. My test, if you could read your essay aloud and say, yes, that's me, you're giving yourself your best shot. If you'd like some more inspiration for your HBS application essays, be sure to download our book, What Matters and What More, 50 Successful Essays for the Stanford GSB and HBS and Why They Worked, which gives examples of actual HBS and GSB essays submitted by successful past candidates, along with my commentary on the strengths and sometimes the weaknesses of each one. You should also download our free insider's guide to Harvard Business School, which goes into depth on the resources, environment, activities, community, as well as firsthand admissions information from alumni, admissions directors, current students, and our own admissions consultants. We'd love to speak with you about your applications and give you a chance to learn for yourself why so many of our past applicants rave about us online. Click the link below to sign up for your free 30-minute consultation with one of our admissions experts. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, if you enjoyed this video and want to get more MBA admissions and application tips, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel.